Hey guys, so today a new video about PvP, but this one is rather special, so following yesterday's video, I wanted to do a more in-depth analysis at SA3 activation times in PvP, but the data that I used to rank cast times had a 0 0.03 seconds margin of error, meaning that it did end up affecting the results a bit. So let's make up for that and let the slow motion video evidences speak for themselves. Enjoy! So the first thing that I want to show you is that positioning in the team affects how strong attacks are being triggered. So as you can see in my team, Retsu is on the side lanes and she needs to move forward before she activates her third strong attack. So for the rest of the video, we're only going to use characters in the mid lane. So they're going to be a leader in the team. Oh, and one more thing, we're only going to be facing enemies with attack strategies because as you can see in this clip, if it's anything but attack strategies, chances are the enemy team is not going to be firing their strong attack 3 first. So first off, we have tag team Shuhei, attack strategy. So as you can see, he launches his strong attack faster than Retsu, which inflicts her damage, but then as soon as the first hit lands, she fights back with her own strong attack 3. Then we have Toshiro. And the reason you're going to see double damage is because he has Frenzy. Again, he can only land one hit before Retsu fights back with her own strong attack 3. Now moving to Rukia. Same thing as Toshio, so double hits on her third strong attack. And then Retsu comes back with her own. And because none of these characters have poise, they get interrupted and this is why you don't see any more damage being landed on the enemy Retsu. And now we have Orihime Halloween version. And this one's interesting, because on paper she is 0.04 seconds faster than Retsu, but because her strong attack 3 uncharged is not full screen, well she has to move forward first before landing her third strong attack, meaning she's gonna be interrupted by Retsu before even landing the first hit. The same situation arises for TA Toshiro, knowing that he doesn't have a third strong attack that is full screen, and his range is actually smaller than the one from Orihime, meaning he has to move even more forward before using his third strong attack, resulting in what you can see on the screen. And that brings us to Swimsuit Soifun. She has one of the fastest strong attack 3 activation time in the game, which is 0.05 seconds faster than Retsu's. And as you can see, she does manage to land her attack first, and because it's somewhat a vortex, it just continues landing hits even though she got interrupted by Retsu. And with the exact same activation time as Swimsuit Soifun, we have Halloween Yorichi. Both of them have supposedly 0.18 seconds activation time on their third strong attack. So here as well, Yorichi is going to be able to land one hit from her third strong attack before being interrupted by Retsu. And now, just for fun, moving on with Tsukishima Bone version. So he's not one of the fastest strong attack 3 users out there, but because of his uh, positioning with his innate DR trait, I wanted to try him out. Speaking of Tsukishima, his wide day version is actually somewhat fast as he has a 0.22 seconds activation time on his SA3 which is 0.01 seconds faster than Retsu's. But here, that was on paper and he didn't manage to land a single hit on Retsu. And what better way to finish this video than to showcase Banken himself because he has poise. So as we can see, he doesn't land the first hit, but he doesn't get interrupted either, so he manages to hit his full strong attack 3 on the enemy team. And that's how important start barrier or poise are to PvP when it comes to set characters. Or activation times, but this is not enough because you end up landing the first hit and that's it, and you cannot kill any enemy Retsu with just one hit.